Hello, Cappuccino. I am here with a shortcut for how to multiply out a whole bunch of binomials, and it could be polynomials, anything. Whenever you have to multiply out any polynomials, there's a nice little shortcut that, thanks to Michael, I now can do on my graphing calculator. So if I want to multiply these out, and you know how you would do your distributing, it's really easy to get lost in the negatives. So it would be nice to have a way of multiplying this out um, using technology. So this is one way that we came up with today in class, uh, thanks to Michael. So we're going to go y equals, and we're going to enter this in as if we were going to graph it. And so I have my parentheses, negative x plus 1, close my parentheses open parentheses, negative x minus 2, close my parentheses, open my parentheses, x plus 3. So there it is. You could graph it, have a look at it, make sure that you entered everything in right, you don't get an error. Okay, so there it is. Beautiful. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and see what would be the table for that graph. Okay, so the table for that graph, table is right here above the button that says graph. So we're gonna go second graph, that brings up the table. Now, what I'm gonna do is, if this, since this is a cubic, I'm gonna use the cubic regression to write the equation of this cubic. And when I get the equation of the cubic, it's gonna be in standard form. It's gonna be multiplied out to standard form. Now, how many points do we need? Do we need all these points? No. Remember, if it's a cubic, if the family is y equals x to the third, that means I need four points. So all I need to do is take the first four points and I'll be able to do my regression. So I'm just going to write down my first four points. There is another way of having it automatically put in, but it's kind of complicated, so I'm not going to go over that right now. But I can just write down the first four points. So there's my x values and my y values. I'm just going to copy them down. And then I'm going to go over to stat, edit, and I'm going to type those in negative six, negative five, negative four, negative three. And I'm going to go over to my y, negative 84, negative 36, negative 10, and zero. And now I'm going to do a cubic regression. So I'm going to go stat. Calc, choose cubic regression, list one, list two, calculate it, bam. So now it's giving me my standard form. So this in standard form is going to be y equals, my a value is one, so that's x cubed, one x cubed, plus four x squared, plus one x minus six. Okay, because my A is 1, my B is 4, my C is 1, and my D is negative 6. Standard form, and I didn't lose any negatives. Okay, now to make sure that that actually works, we could go ahead and put it back into our graphing calculator and make sure it matches on top of the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in, x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus six. Okay, so I've entered that in. Now when I graph it, my blue and my red curve should be on top of each other. So there was the blue one. Now I'm waiting for the red one and it matches perfectly. Bam! Multiplying out polynomials using the graphing features on our graphing calculator. Mic drop. That's it. Very cool.